Yo, what is going on, YouTube? DK back here with another video. We are finally here, boys and girls. We are finally here. We have the new DMC collab. I hope everybody's been able to get their pulls. We have this rad soundtrack going on in the background. Super excited. Uh, I've been grinding. I'm sure everybody, it was like Christmas morning for everybody. We all woke up you know, between 5 and 7 a.m. trying to grab stuff get stuff rolling on building our characters a lot I've heard a lot of great things about people pulling all three already which is awesome a lot of my close friends have already pulled all three um, big shout out to them and, and that's awesome luck um, I've only been able to pull two uh, Nero and Dante and one of the LR arcs I'm still waiting on the Urizen and I, I'm not really going for V but if it happens it happens um, but I'm actually here today because there's a lot of stuff that is like hidden and a lot of stuff that I want people to know about so that they don't miss out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start with uh, the DMC collab challenges. So make sure you guys do all this. These are just rewards. Just make sure you read them all. Don't miss out on this stuff. I know whenever you're first starting out, this is mostly for you new players. And, and if some veteran players are missing this kind of stuff, then this it, it, helps them out, then great. But uh, so we have, you know, a lot of the stuff that has like crystals and, you know, make sure you just read them and it tells you what to do. Like this one is log in for two days. Real simple stuff, guys. So definitely don't miss out. Um, enhance the Nero pendant. So for this one right here, enhancing the pendant for people that don't know already, um, you can actually do this in the Alchemy Lab once you've obtained it in the event. You actually just go to the hands equip. Make sure you go over to the limited side. And then here you go. These are based on the style points that you do in the event. And then this is how you're going to level up the system. So I'm going to actually just, I actually got the pendant already. So I'm going to actually show you real quick. So you actually just enhance it. And then it should be 100% rate. And there you go. Enhanced. And I believe these go up to 40. And this is actually a great weapon, guys. Just to kind of go over this real quick. We have, uh, when close to death, at battle start recover 30% of max HP that's amazing it's almost like awaken but not like a full I've seen awaken do like recover a, a little bit more than that but still you had a hundred percent 154 hit point boost and uh, or HP boost and then you also get you know these this trait right here which is great uh, but yeah don't forget to do this now another thing we're gonna go over is actually how the best way to obtain the red orbs so this video is going to be quick. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because I'm not going to edit this. This is just going to be me straight talking um, so I can get this video out for you guys. So for the Devil Hunter event, okay, so there's multiple ways you can do this. Um, we'll start with the Path to the Demon King. Uh, right now, we don't have anything that increases the, the uh, I guess, the uh, difficulty yet. We're still stuck on the regular one. So... But that that that's great. It's actually not that bad of a of an event and, and reward point. So like I'm gonna show you guys what's the best way to do this. All right, so let's go back real quick. Uh, yeah, this is the second one is where you're gonna get the most. You don't want to do the top one. Uh, I know like the top one kind of like oh it's the last level, but no. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to try and see if you don't already have it. This guy right here, this dragon. Aldravana, I don't know if I ever say that right. He does a hundred hits off the bat, so the stop points are all based on hits. So I'm gonna show you what this actually does. All right. So um, if you want, like right now, I'm running these drops, this arc for drops, and then I'm also gonna just for the sake of items right now, I'm gonna go ahead and run Beast Hunter as well. But like I said, you guys can do this however you want. But this is just my method of of trying to farm items so that you know I don't miss out on stuff in a certain amount turn the time limit so okay so for this we're gonna use beast hunter let me grab that guy real quick where is he I'm blind right now top all right cool all right so let's do this all right I'm gonna show you how this works so because this level is and the reason why I'm saying because this level is so low let me pause that real quick is that there's not enough time to get the hits in and that's the biggest problem right now for for veteran players and you know the mid mid level players everybody's pretty you know they're on their feet already so doing damage is pretty easy so what we're gonna do since i do have one beast hunter arc here we're gonna go ahead and save that and we're gonna mostly rely on this guy the great war of ruin to get drops for this round because this is a two round fight but we are gonna use this since there's multiple enemies we're gonna hit multiple targets watch this Instant 
triple F guys. Instant. Alright. Now, we're on to the next one. So we're already, we're already at one triple S. Alright, so now we have multiple enemies in the last fight. So now we want to throw out Beast Hunter. This is an SR arc, really obtainable. Most people should already have it. And then we're going to throw down him again. Now, as you can see, the SS carries over. So you can only get it once, but this is just kind of an idea if you don't already have it. Definitely use a support that does, and this is how you're going to best utilize this end game, not end game, but end of the level content. Or end of the level item, sorry. <laughs> so here, check it out. So since I'm using the characters, I'm getting crazy event points, plus 200%. And then here we go, guys. So we have three tickets, and then all these event medals, which can be used in the shop. And then we got that SSS, plus three red, uh, I guess we can call them orbs for right now. I forgot what they're called. Uh, but yeah, that's and you're going to use those to rank up the stuff in the alchemy. Okay, we're going to hit no. So guys, that's how you're going to utilize that, that uh, style points, at least for right now, because of how low the levels are. So you're going to want to try and use an arc or maybe some type of magic. Um, because since you know the thing with the magic is that you're only able to cast one before killing everybody, depending on how strong you are. So maybe low level players and new players will actually be able to cast two rounds of magic, but see for me, I, all my characters that have magic are a little overpowered, so it knocks them all down in one hit. So yeah, so I hope that helps you guys out on that. Um, and you can either go to the, once you get the red orbs, whatever, and you can actually go into here and this is where you'll do it. Uh, make sure you guys are doing that. Also, let me see. Now for the challenges, here's another thing that I figured out. So you are, make sure you clear all of these, um, but the, the one I found the most is that each one here is going to give you one, but this guy, it's same, it costs the same, and it only costs the same and it's a level 40, but here's a, here's a catch. So the same thing applies to this, I won't actually take in a support, um, we'll go ahead and start this, and I'm going to show you here. So each one before this only gives you one unit soul, and what you want to do is you want to concentrate on that one unit, because let's be real here, it's not really possible to get every single unit maxed out before this event ends, especially with the recover orbs. So we're going to go ahead and launch Beast Hunter, see what people drop. We get a drop, that's great. We can actually check right here to see what, who dropped what, and we got one chest here on the right side. But that's not why we're here, we're here to maximize skill. And so, I mean skill style points. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this guy again and watch this. It should be an instant SSS. And there we go. Instant SSS. Now this is gonna give us three more. Not only are you getting the SSS in the events using your recovery orbs, but you're also gonna be getting an SSS using your tickets. As long as you're using Beast Hunter or something like that, you should be able to drop more tickets than usual. But as you see here, we got two Dante. So it's going to use... So you're using two units. And if I'm not mistaken, it's only going to give you two souls based on the collab only. So that's how you're going to do this. So if you only want Nero and you don't want Dante's, go ahead and just use Nero only. And that's going to utilize the whole uh, unit or distribution. So you will only get... You should only get... Uh, Nero's orb, and I will verify that right now on screen for y'all so that you guys can get an idea. So we're going to go ahead and take out Dante, and it should not give us anything for Phantom Thief, so we're going to go ahead and hit start again. Alright, so we're not going to, we're not even going to mess around, we're going to do Beast Hunter. That's my Nero's getting up, I don't want him to kill him. As you see here, he knocked one down. I still should still get an SS. I did it. I think I got an SS. No, I got an S. Okay. Yeah, see, Nero... Nero's got a mind of his own. <laughs> okay, so it's still... It's gonna prove my point. So Nero's the only one in there, and boom. Two. 
So it costs the same, and you get one extra unit soul versus the other one, and then you get your um, your gold coins. As you see, I got an S. But normally, if Nero wasn't gonna kill them, Eldrana would have killed everybody, and you would have gotten three orbs on that one as well. All right, so one. Okay, then I think finally, let me just double check to make sure the shop. Oh, so yeah, make sure you're recovering your rewards here. Recovery orbs. Um, trading space. Make sure you guys are checking out your trading space because um, here is where you're going to use your coins. And like uh, as right now, I am going to go ahead and just for the fun of it. Actually, I need these because that grind is real right now, guys. Make sure you're using your crystals. I mean, your crystals, your coins there. Make sure you grab all the DMC content. There's even collab tickets in there. Make sure you grab that LR prayer dust. Um, and also, if you're doing paid stuff. You know, honestly, if you're doing paid, I would on honestly concentrate on one character, one set of items, or item at that, because this stuff does get pretty expensive. But I mean, if you're wailing on this, which I totally get, it's, it's an awesome collab going on. I've already spent some money. I know it, it, it's just inevitable, really. Um, you know, I would concentrate on one build only, or two if you're really going to spend the money. Um, and that's another thing I'm talking about. I know that a lot of my friends here are pulling multiple characters, but guys, and, and I know if you've heard this before, please spend your resources correctly. You will get stuck, and it will get tougher if you do not concentrate on one character. So if you do get Nero V and Dante, pick one out of the three, one that you need for your team, and concentrate on that because it will help you progress throughout the year to, to clear more content. And then, absolutely, have fun. Like, have fun doing the rest, but, you know, don't, don't spread out your resources just randomly. And, it, you know, you will... It will bite you in the ass later on. So, um, now the last thing I wanted to talk about, and, and I'm sure there's something else I'm missing, but I, I, I just want to get this video out there so everybody knows. Don't want to waste any time. Um, on the world map, there are three bottles. Now I've already, I've already found them, and they actually do have some pretty cool stuff in them. So I will actually transition this video into the. I actually recorded it earlier, so it's going to be pre-recorded. So at the end there, um, I will show you that, but there is three three or four bottles on the map, and I'm going to show you where they are here in a second. So first we're going to see one here by Port Meagle. You're going to see, you're going to grab that, and you're going to get a cover orb. Then there's actually one on top. That's event metals. And we're going to find, we're going to scroll over another one. So they're all in this vicinity. We have Devil May Cry ticket, and then the last one is right here. We have the, I believe it's a picture frame, a DMC poster. Yeah, so there you go. Um, there. So my, my point being is that definitely, this is the area that you're gonna wanna look around. They should all be in the same area. But every day, if I'm not mistaken, they will be updating this with new bottles around the world map. So definitely do, don't forget to log in and check and just kinda look around everywhere. But I think they will all be around that Port Meagle area. So guys, if you have any questions or if you're not able to find them, you know, just hit me with a comment below and I'll I'll see what I can do as far as see if they're going to be located at a different spot. Um, I do have a secondary account and I'll double check that one as well. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope this video helps you guys out and I hope you all are enjoying this collab. Uh, and like I said, man, if anything helps, subscribe, like the video, um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.